We all are familiar with a long queue of time travel blockbusters that exist. Back to the Future, Star Trek, Doctor Who, and numerous recent movies which are toying with the idea of traveling back and forth in time, time heist, and space-time paradox. The most neoteric show, Netflix's Dark, successfully experimented and boggled its viewers' minds with the concept of time travel. This age-old complicated concept has ensued a steady debate in the world of science. Is time travel possible or not? Scientists, conspiracy theorists, and the internet crowd across the world are extremely divided on the subject, and their opinions are generally backed with concrete logic. What makes this subject more difficult is how people perceive time. Genius and physicist of the era, Albert Einstein, achieved in proving that time is a fourth dimension, is relative, and varies for various observers with respect to their speeds in space. The concept that time travel is theoretically possible was further emphasized with Einstein's special theory of relativity, which consequently proved that gravity can bend time. However, it is assured that supreme technology that would be required to make this physically possible doesn't exist throughout the world. We bring you five such eerie instances that might make you believe that time travel is happening around us. Apex TV Probably tagged as one of the major conspiracy favorite hotspots, Apex TV is well known amongst internet users for their range of videos on mysterious, paranormal, and time travel experiences. Their channel features interviews with time travelers such as the famed Noah who claimed to have arrived from the year 2030. Amongst the many claims that he made, some of them were of social political importance, such as Britain rejoining the European Union, drowning of US East and West Coast by 2030, highlighting environmental issues, and also emphasized that he had been to the Jurassic Age. On another set of interviews with an unnamed time traveler, the videos portrayed items from the future and the past. In spite of garnering millions of views, there is an equally large outcry that most of the videos are either staged or fake. The question on the credibility of the channel intensified when 16-year-old YouTuber Dennis Bell admitted that he was approached by Apex TV to play the role of Noah and further went on to declare that he will not be performing the role anymore. Although there were no comments from Apex TV regarding the issue, a lot of people do believe that the plethora of videos do have a thread of truth. The Curious Case of Bob Todino In the year 2003, several people across the world received a series of emails you would not expect to receive, and each of them had a curious common subject. The spam emails requested the users to find someone who could supply a dimensional warp generator along with narrating peculiar stories about a certain time traveler stuck in this year, or a certain individual helping out other time travelers. Several recipients responded back with efforts to find the requested equipment. Computer programmer Dave Hill decided to take things in a public sphere as he set up an online shop and shared the details of the trade on the internet. Needless to say, Numerous people took this occasion to successfully dupe the sender for thousands of rupees. The emails were tracked down to a certain Bob Todino, who had supposedly gone missing 10 months before the spam emails made their way into inboxes. Curiously enough, he was not found after his repeated search attempts by his family members, even after the entire fiasco. However, another side to the story suggests that the emails were sent by professional spammer Robert J. Todino, who was a firm believer of time traveling. Later, his father voiced his concerns and revealed that his son was diagnosed with dissociative disorder and schizophrenia and urged users not to elevate his psychological conditions. Todino's time traveler story was referenced in the song Rewind by jazz trio Groovilily on their 2003 album Are We There Yet? The Vatican's Chronovisor, inconsistent with the theory that H.G. Wells' bestseller The Time Machine was actually the revealing of a top secret. Father Francois Brune appears to be the H.G. Wells in this particular story. His 2002 published book, Le Nouveau Mystery du Vatican, narrates the existence of a similar device in the depths of the Vatican called the chronosphere. He claims to have known this since 1960, when scientist priest Father Pellegrino Ernetti explained to him the importance and the functioning of the device. According to the accounts, the device was designed secretly by a dedicated team of Italian scientists led by Nobel Prize winning physicist Enrico Fermi, the infamous but esteemed Nazi SS member and rocket scientist Werner von Braun and Ernetti himself. The name of the rest of the inventors are still anonymous. 
Uncannily enough, the device has been mentioned several times previously, notably in an article published in the Italian magazine La Domenica del Corriere, entitled, A Machine That Photographs the Past Has Finally Been Invented, in the year 1972. People do have divided views on this supposed invention, but it would certainly be a scientific grandeur if it exists in the depths of the Vatican. Paul Dianek's Time-Traveling Stories when Swiss teacher Paul Dianek went into a coma in 1921 to 1922 at a Geneva hospital, no one would have wildly guessed the experience he went through. After the teacher woke up from a seemingly harrowing experience, he wrote several pages in German and gave it to his student, George Papahatis. He took 14 years to translate the entire story into Greek. However, much of it was confiscated and never returned by the military in 1944 because they were written in German. The minimal amount that George could extract from the document was an extraordinary tale of time travel. In the future year of 3906, Professor of Physics Andreas Northam had a near-death experience due to an accident. When he woke up after being treated, he was suddenly Paul Dianek and spoke in an unknown language that was identified in the future as the outdated Swiss-German language. At the same time in 1922, Paul Dianek was in a coma. The Andrew, Paul, in 3906 was unable to recognize his family members and from then on suffered from insomnia, remained awake the entire day, and had problems finding his way around the new present. The scientist in 3906 immediately grasped the state in which Northam was diagnosed it as a conscious slide and were familiar with it. They narrated to him much of human history from the 21st century to the 40th century. The notes contained drawings from the First and the Second World War with astonishing precision. With what George could salvage, the book Valley of Roses was published. Innumerable videos and stories have been made based on this inexplicable experience. Time Authority A certain interview gained a lot of attention in 2014 when an unnamed mysterious time traveler claimed that he couldn't share specific details due to being regulated by higher people who keep track of changes in the timeline. According to the person, an organization called the Time Authority is in charge of keeping the balance in the timeline and maintains the order of global events. He stated that the Time Authority works hard to maintain a chronological order and they are everywhere. They are even aware of how this interview will end. He made several prophecies for the foreseeable future, such as money as we know it will be disappearing someday, collapses of the society which will lead to lots of trouble for the future generations, and limited resources. The stranger ended with saying, We know that what I'm doing, that the organization that I'm part of, the stuff we do works, and it is not for you to question our methods. We don't need proof. All we need is to encourage innovators. While many people do believe the words are incredible, some also raise questions on his dialect, which hasn't changed in years, and also the safe zone he experimented with, because resources getting diminished every single day is a proven fact. There will be no end to amazing stories when it comes to a complicated topic such as time travel. As much as the idea is interesting enough, time traveling personally would definitely be an enlightening experience. Who knows, maybe you could be the next time traveler who saw the bright future and came back to narrate the golden tales. It's all a sphere of perception.